Um, it can have a lot of substantial beneficial effects. And as we get older, after about the fourth decade, unfortunately, we start to lose these type 2 muscle fibers. And so exercise has to be foundational. Uh, and if anything else can be beneficial, protein, creatine, um, I'm all for it. And I think most people hopefully will be as well. Yeah. So the the improvements in in the muscle strength presumably are coming because you're increasing your training volume, right? Is that, or, or is there a direct effect on strength? Yeah, there's actually a neurophysiological recruitment. So now creatine has been touted as a new neurotransmitter. So this is quite interesting. It actually seems to release a lot of things from a neuromuscular uh, uh, perspective. But the biggest thing is the ability to recruit not only type 1, but these type 2 muscle fibers as well. Um, and then, of course, if we're having greater muscle or motor unit recruitment, we can potentially lift longer, heavier, and and, and over time get uh, uh, sort of more uh, an increase in strength. If you've taken high school biology or university, uh, this will be your nightmare. But I remember everybody talking about the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And it's an area that just releases calcium to allow our muscles to contract. And, and creatine speeds up the uptake of calcium. So some of the evidence out of Europe has shown that it increases relaxation time or the ability of the, the proteins in your muscle to grab hold of each other to contract. So there's a cellular aspect there explaining why we think we get an increase in muscle performance. I say strength, but endurance and power are all lumped in there as well. So endurance is the ability to perform repetitions to fatigue or power, move an object as fast as you can. They're all vitally important. But we think strength is overall, from a global perspective, uh, number one. It's probably the main reason a lot of older adults are placed in long-term care facilities. If they have a reduction in strength, they can't live independently. So that's why, again, resistance training or weight-bearing exercise, as you mentioned, CrossFit, whichever it is, foundational. I'm from Canada, so shoveling the driveway in the winter counts because anything that's a load against you is is really beneficial to the body. I think people underestimate the benefits of moving. Um, and then if anything can be taken in in this form, creatine, it'd be very, very uh, beneficial. Yeah. You, you mentioned some of the anti-inflammatory effects of creatine, particularly in the context of more endurance type of training, right. people that are perhaps running marathons or just clocking in a lot of hours mm -hmm. of, of running or cycling yep. per week. Right. Um, is that, so I think that, that, that goes in to some respect in the recovery right. sort of bin, right? Yep. And um, I'm wondering if that also plays a role in recovering from doing your resistance training, mm -hmm. strength training, like on a recovery day. So, I mean, do you think it plays a role just broadly in recovery? Yeah, it does. 